Hey everyone. Um, welcome back and today we're assembling a one bucket wicking system. I know a lot of people are familiar with the two bucket system. I've been using these for about 10 years now and they work great. Two buckets. You got your wicking cup with your slits in the side. Downspout PVC tubing uh, for a fill. And you got your drain ports for your overflow. I know there's like a thousand videos out there. Um, they work great. Been using them for a long time. Probably my ninth or tenth year using them. And some of them are starting to fall apart. I'm trying to pick them up right here, they're all cracking. Uh, sorry about the noise here. Is I live in Chicago by airport, so it's gonna be a lot of flybys. And hopefully my audio is good here. And um, this year I'm going with the one bucket looking system using your standard 12 ounce cans of your choice doesn't matter 12 ounce actually you can use 16 ounce you just got a 16 12 ounce cans will work just have to do the measurements but um alrighty hopefully I have everything here so make this smoothly because I don't do edits and it's kind of like a one-time shoot so kind of bear with me here alrighty let's get started and I just broke my measuring stick already already I'll make this work uh, tools required saw jigsaw handsaw hacksaw whatever you have and a couple drill bits quarter inch for your um, um, zip tie holder and is that three eighths for your drain drainage? You can do one, two holes, three holes, whatever you prefer. But I'm, I usually just go do two. All right, let's get started. Starting off with a three gallon bucket, and like I said, I did my measurement from a stirring stick, which I cracked, but it's still good. We're gonna make it happen here measurements with the cans here we're going to invert them upside down here and what we're going to do is um measure the can we have a four and three quarter tall so we want to drill i mean we're going to do a hole here probably about an inch from the top here right there we're going to make a hole here so what I did, I made a stick here for my measurements. So with 10 cans, so I have to measure each one. So I got it kind of like a stick here, which unfortunately, like I said, I cracked here. Hopefully it doesn't make two, two things too confusing here. As you can see, got one inch from the top. That's my thing here. So we're gonna take our stick here. Sharpie marker is a, is a must there. And you can see we got a lot of rain here. I had my buckets outside here. Hopefully everything's fitted in here. I got the back to my, got the sun to my back. Actually today is pretty nice. Got blue skies, sun, which is kind of rare around here these days. Usually it's rain, cloudy, overcast, cold fronts, you name it. So let's keep on um, mine probably about eighth inch quarter inch actually a quarter inch to be safe from the bottom because you have this little lip here and we're gonna do our drain hole two of them which I have marked already hopefully this is in view here I got a bee by my head here big old bumblebee and um, this would be the top of the can and this is where we're gonna have our hole it's gonna be our drainage point because in the can from the top here 
is going to be your air, which is needed for the system to work properly, just like the two bucket system. You need your little air gap, oxygen wise, for the roots uh, to survive, grow, stay healthy, etc. So, it's going to be one drainage point, which I try to stay in point here, is with the thing here, so I try to make everything equal. I did about 50 buckets already, so I'm kind of. There's the next thing here. Bad timing, but um, that's my template here. So I make this happen here. There's a drain hole. Remember, that's our top of our can right here. So. And our can, when we when we drill the hole, will be one inch from the top to here. So you have air, and the rest is gonna fill up with water. Okay, so that's that. And right here, I'm gonna drill for the PVC pipe here for a downspout. I didn't cut this. This one's cut in on these downspouts. I can't remember the size here. I think they're one inch yeah one inch uh pvc piping they come in eight foot lengths and um so you can get four four of them out of thing i measure two foot sections and just cut them with a jigsaw handsaw whatever you have um to cut and then you have the pvc cutters almost like pliers you can squeeze them and chop them then you got to cut a notch about like this doesn't have to be perfect coming from the side just cut a notch for when you fill up with water then you have the flow inside the cans we'll walk through that in a second here Alrighty. going with um, the holes here for the um, the hold for the zip tie so we got one end so we're just gonna kind of eyeball it that's kind of like safe way right here Alrighty, so up our drill here. Got my regular drill bit and I have the wrong one plugged in. Oop. There we go. Oop. Actually, I'll be right back. I didn't plug it in, so. Bear with me here. Alrighty, sorry about that. We got power. Yeah, we got a lot going on here, so gotta have some glitches, so it's all good. Alrighty. I'm just using a regular standard drill. I have a quick bit fastener here, and I put in my quarter inch drill bit. So Mark my holes here ready for a zip tie that's gonna hold the downspout. We got one. Alrighty, that's a done deal. So we got our holes here for to hold our downspout. And we're gonna switch our bit out real quick. We're gonna put in our 3 8 bit, which is gonna be your overflow. Um, holes here for when it's, when the downspout fills up water, fills up the cans, the excess water comes out. Sorry again about the planes. It's going to be like this every five minutes, so. Alrighty. We're going to drill the hole here. Got one. Probably safe doing it on the ground here. 
Alright, here we go. Alright, we got our, our holes here. And with our cans, it's gonna sit right in here. And um, get the little bits out. So, for our cans now, we need about 10 cans to fill this space. But first, I'm gonna cut this PVC pipe. So, we're for a downspout. So, I'm gonna switch drills here. We got a lot of things going on. Our alarms. There we go. All right, we got it. Oh. Got our handy jigsaw here. So we're gonna cut this. We got our two foot sections that we measured out. So we're just gonna cut this one here. Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> We got our two foot suction cut out. Let me mark this up. So on our downspout that goes in the bucket, we're gonna cut like rough like a 45 or so. Nothing perfect. Something where um where the water can get through here, flow nicely. Put this on an angle here. Have her, um, her cut as you can see this is still flat here and we have a nice cut right here a nice bevel cut which is gonna sit in the bucket and fill up this thing here give it a better view so it's gonna sit in our bucket so we have a nice little cave right here which the water is gonna flow through all right so this goes in the bottom right there zip ties we're, right now we're using an eight inch, what do you call them, cable ties. You can find these any Home Depot, any big box store. And these are like a few bucks, 100 counts. So you got about 50 bucks, I mean uh, 50 uh, buckets going on. And the some lists come from the outside with the zip tie out. Just make sure the, the innies in, which goes through. So we just put this to it right here. Backing out. Zip it. Side cutters. Just snip off this tag right here. Make it clean here. Nice and flush. Spin it around. Make sure the bevels inside the bucket, which we're gonna fill in. Okay, we got that part done. Okay, the next part is the can. The setup for the cans here, so we need about 10 cans. Luckily, the job site where I'm working at, they have soda, and the cleaner lady was nice enough to snag all the aluminum cans for me, which makes a lot of things easier because there's no way I can drink, um, what is it? A lot of them. So 10 cans times 60, it's a lot of them. We got, you know, 12 ounce aluminum cans here. And we need 10 of them. First thing to do is invert them upside down. And get your measurement. Actually, I'm gonna redo another one. Let's go Let's set this up real quick here since I broke the stick here. And I can't find my marker. There we go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna transfer this broken stick here, which was a stir stick from Starbucks. And we're just gonna transfer my measurements here. Like I said, it was one inch from the top of the bottom of the can. Right here, one inch. Now we have to measure the clearance of the the bucket. So, which in turns 
when you put the can, when you drill this hole, when you set the can in, the hole will be even with the hole in the bucket. And there's the top of the can here. Hopefully that makes sense. And um, here we go. Okay. So right here, there's our template. There's our can. The bottom. I already, I already uh, pulled the tabs off here, so there's no, no obstruction from the bottom of the can. So it can kind of like sit flush with the bottom of the bucket here. So here's our stick. There's the bottom of our can right here. It's gonna be our first point. What I do, I just take this blade here. I pinch it right here. Don't want to go too deep. Our hole wants to be, you know, probably about three eighths. Kind of like eyeball, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is, you know, this is gardening here. And we're just trying to like make things useful, recycle. I'm big on recycling, so up, up, up purpose and things, so. All right, here's our template, top of a can. Here's our first mark for, we got about one inch right here. It's gonna be your first point, right there. That's all you need size of you know your pinky nail nothing perfect and in your bottom hole which is right here so I reverse this can we want to get about two holes in here same thing you know just do it easy so you don't want to bend it same thing in the bottom there it is it's that's one can down I have more to go I'm gonna kind of fly through this real quick Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just we want when you want these cans to get filled with water. It's three. If the can's dented, just kind of give it a bend. Try to keep everything uniform here. And be using gloves so if you have gloves use them um, one thing I, I tried using a drill bit the thing is it leaves little slivers and I don't know I think that's even worse I just want to do a hole like I said it doesn't have to be perfect we want air and we want oh, if you get this a little tag up here just take your whatever you're using just pinch it down like I said, this hole like about right here. Oh, I love that car alarm. I hear it about 10 times a day. Another hole. Get number six. Fix that there. Another hole here. After I get done um, poking all these holes in here, I'll show you the inside of how it looks before I fill up with dirt. And oh, there it is, another tag. So I was gonna push that in there. So next year, when we kind of like redo our buckets, and when you're sticking your hand in there, grabbing buckets, you don't want to cut yourself. And I'm known for that. All right around the bucket right now we got eight cans in two more I'm hoping every I get everything in here like I said the sun's behind my back right now we're kind of like midday there's another so what I do I kind of like poke right at this bevel right here which is kind of sturdy so it makes it kind of easier to get a hole in there All right, last one, number 10. Like I said, from the top here, one inch, down, 
Oh, oh, halfway. The hole, Tw twist. Alrighty. I'm hoping I get everything in here. I can't see, so sorry in advance. If I have to, I'll redo this video, no problem. But I have 10 cans circling, I mean, I'm sorry, eight cans circling around her. I got two cans in the middle, which I'm gonna fill up with dirt. I'm gonna get dirt in each crevice here. So at this point on this bucket, there's gonna be no wicking system. So it's basically, it's gonna be dirt. And you got your overflow here. So when the water overflows out of these holes in the cans, it comes out. Next year I might change things and kind of like put like a, a fabric piece of um, actually what's down here, lining in here and trying to like incorporate maybe a little wicking cup. Let's see how this goes first. I'm sure this is gonna do good. It's gonna hold up water. So I'm not refilling, you know, every day. You know, with, with, the, with the regular bucket. Like I said, I've been using these buckets, two bucket system for nine years, 10 years, and without a problem, they, they need maintenance. So I'm trying to go without, um, you know, the, the water hoses, automated, whatever. So plus too, I like spending time in the garden, viewing the plants, each one and water them every other day, whatever they need. So going back to this, so we got our buckets here and I'm gonna fill this up with dirt and what you want to do is uh, fill up with our uh, potting soil let's put this on the side here so we got our downspout it's positioned good and hopefully I get this in there we're gonna fill this up with dirt in the spaces so when the dirt settles and it's here then we got little excess points here for the roots to get right into the water, drink up what they need, boom. Alrighty. I'm gonna switch the camera around here. Put these tools around. I'm gonna show you the soil we got right here. I got a potting mixer right here and Added about getting a little water here just to get everything kind of like moistened up here so it's not too dry. And hopefully everything's in there. So I got my baby shovel here. And I'm just gonna add soil in here. Got all our cans positioned perfect. a little better here yes yeah, nice weather in Chicago finally we got some Sun we're probably at 80 degrees right now blue skies not a cloud no rain thank God and we're filling up here Apologize in advance with the um, angle view here because the Tronics is not my strong point here. All right, so we're gonna get this like somewhat filled up here. All right, let's get back down here. Okay, I think we're in here. Okay, we got everything in here. Um, got nice, uh, we're using the Sunshine Pro Mix right now. It's my last bag. Oh, there's another plane. It's nice, uh, loose soil, which is needed for any application for, you know, buckets. You don't want to do anything too dense. You want a nice, uh, drainage everything so 
Alrighty, let's get a plan in. What we got here? All right, let's do a yellow reaper. Got a yellow reaper right here. It's probably 12, 13 inches tall. Broken leaf. Let's pinch this guy off here. Cause we're gonna bury it a little deeper. A yellow reaper. And we're gonna make a little, little, little hole right here. We got some roots coming out. Usually when the roots are so dense, it's so hard. They'll, they'll, they'll be like this, that dense. And I like you using these cups, but there's times where you have to do have to cut the bottoms out. You gotta take scissors and cut along here to get the root system out. So this cup will be used again next season. There we go. We got a nice root structure going on here. And these roots down here is pretty nice because if we get down there a little deeper, let's do this hole. Let's do a little pre-measure here. Okay, that's looking about good. I can't even see. So hopefully this is all in here. Yeah, ice cream truck. And just notice there we got a couple um, flower buds going on. So perfect time, man. A lot of these plants are kind of behind. Midwest weather, it's like everybody else. Tons of rain, wind bad days and everybody's behind but it's going though we'll get it done eventually alrighty got these loosen up pretty good nothing too crazy get that packed in there Get a little break here. Got a bamboo. Let's get the thick end down the bottom. Oh, another thing too. Um, it'll take a few times because you got those two um, open clearances for the cans. So while you put your steak down, right there is the top of a can. Move it around. Top of the can. There we go. We're on the bottom of the bucket here. Got our steak in. Let's get some twine. Another thing I've been using here. Well, it comes in different colors: black, white, rainbow. And which is nice about this. Yeah, you know what? Let's use rainbow today. It's elastic. And with the wind, if you live somewhere it's like windy. I live in Chicago, so we have wind, the windy city. Tied us up and the wind kind of like moves it around, so it's pretty nice. I know they make bracelets out of this and other stuff. This is um I'm going to tie this so I, hopefully I can use this next year because I hate one time use things. I know it's not recyclable or not, nothing, so. But I'm going to use it because this stuff works good because I use bands before and then I had broken leaves and broken branches because they had no give. This is something kind of like new this year. And so far it's holding up. I got, like I said, I have about 50 plants up using this twine and. I usually cut about uh, five inches or so. And I usually, usually use a double knot. Nothing too tight, just to uh, keep it still. And that's it. I don't know if you can see. 
So when it blows, oop. actually where I have it, I can tighten it up. What I, there we go. Perfect. It's kind of streamlined with the stick. So it can grow straight. It has movement. It still can get strong from the wind. And there it is. After all of that, then you can fill it up with water down here. Actually, for the uh, next couple of weeks, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to water from the top until the roots established to the bottom. You know, I will put some water down here just to kind of like settle everything down, get the cans filled. But I will definitely water from the top until the roots are established. So, probably next couple of weeks. And. This is completion of the one bucket wicking system. This is still still a great alternative, but like you know, the thing is, you gotta use two buckets. And if you're buying them, and you know, start the cost starts getting up there. Oh, it's getting out there. Oh, actually, that broke. Look at that. It lasted nine years, and it finally broke. It's all right, I'll put a new one in there. But there we are. The old, the new, hopefully this will work. And I'll definitely put more videos up and see how the progress is done with the plants. Like I said, I have about 12 buckets or so of the two bucket system. And we'll, we'll compare them and see where they are with that. So thank you for um, tuning in. And if I have never said it before, if you like this video, thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. All right, thank you. Take care. Bye.